So when you're doing uh, exercises for a frozen shoulder, it's important that you start off nice and light. So the most important things are looking at range of movement and reducing your pain levels initially. And as you start to improve from that, then you can start to improve your, your strength and sort of functional exercise as well. Okay, so the first exercise we're gonna do is a pendulum exercise. The first thing is to grab the weight, allow the weight to kind of pull your shoulder down so you're nicely supported by the chair and your, your feet. And then you're gonna start with a forward and backwards motion. And you may want to do that, say a repetition of 10 or maybe sort of a minute. And then moving in and out. Going into abduction, adduction. And then again, after a certain amount of repetitions or time, you're going to do some circling, both in a clockwise motion and an anti-clockwise motion. And the idea is, is just to try and distract a little bit of pressure from the shoulder and improve the range of movement. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do is some passive range of movement. You're going to use a stick to help you with this. It could be anything from a kind of broom handle to an umbrella or a golf club lying around your house. Hold on to the, uh, the stick either side, either side, hand sort of shoulder width apart, and you're going to bring your arm up. So your good arm is helping your bad one. And take it up as far as you feel you can and then back down, nice and controlled. Keeping your shoulders back, looking straight ahead, remembering to breathe. And then back down. So that's called flexion, bringing your arms up, taking it to the point of where you feel you're getting stiff, and then back down. So the next exercise is going to be going out into abduction. Now remember, just take it as far as you feel you can go. But you're going to hold the stick at the edge, thumb facing out like you're hitching a lift. And then you're going to grab the stick by the other one. Keep your arms nice and long. And then remember to breathe as you go up. Breathing out. Take it up as far as you can. And then back down nice and slowly. So the next exercise is for external rotation. Now remember this is the most challenging one for, for most people with a frozen shoulder. So you're gonna be moving your arm out to the side as far as you feel comfortable, and then back. And you need to hold the stick in your, in your good hand, and then hold the stick in your bad hand with your thumb facing out like you're hitching a lift. And then we're gonna get you to rotate as far as you feel you can, and then back again. Remembering to keep the shoulders back, looking straight ahead, and also going back as far as you feel you can, trying to keep your elbow in at the side and not rotating too much from your back so that you're not turning as you're doing it. You're keeping fairly straight and uh, focusing straight ahead of you. So the next exercise we're gonna do is for, again, external rotation, the most complicated one for someone with a frozen shoulder. You're gonna grab a light weight in your hand. So this one's a two kilogram weight. You're gonna move your arm slightly out to the side so it feels comfortable. And then you're gonna allow the weight to pull your arm down. So take it as far as you feel you can go. And then you can use the other hand to bring it back into position. And again, allowing it to fall down. Now you won't go very far initially, but it's good to expose your shoulder to this movement so it gradually improves. Then you can also change the angle of your shoulder a little bit if you like, if it feels more comfortable in that position, allowing the weight to go down and pull your shoulder down gradually and then bringing it back. And as you progress, you can increase the weight or increase the amount of distance that you're going and ultimately you're looking to bring your shoulder back as far as you possibly can. So the next exercises you have to do are for strength. 
So we're going to do something called isometric contraction exercises, which means that your muscles will be contracting, but not moving too much as you're doing it. So the first exercise that you're going to do is for abduction, where you're bringing your arm out to the side. Now, if you imagine just bringing your arm out, maybe sort of 10, 20 degrees out to the side, so you're up against the wall, so you'd have a wall or a side of your desk down by your hand, and you're going to push into the wall, so you'll be restricted by it. And if you think sort of 100% of your maximum effort, if that's too painful, then come off maybe to sort of 70, 80% of your maximum effort and hold it for about 10 seconds. The next exercise that you're going to do is for external rotation where you're moving your arm out to the side. Now remember, this is the really challenging one for people with frozen shoulder. So this is likely to be a little bit more painful. So what you're going to do is place your arm at the side, keeping your elbow in. You're going to move your arm out a few degrees to the side and you can use your opposite hand or up against the wall or to the side of your car and you're going to push up against it and hold for about 10 seconds remembering if 100% contraction is too much then coming off sort of 70 80% of your maximum effort holding it for about 10 seconds so if you do get pain it's important to know that frozen shoulders can be painful but it's important that you stick to a comfortable pain limit. So if you imagine a pain limit of zero being no pain, 10 being the worst pain you've ever experienced, if you're somewhere between a, a zero to a four out of 10 pain, then that's a comfortable exercise limit. And it's really important as well to monitor your 24 hour response of doing these exercises. So if it becomes above a four out of 10, or the next day you wake up and you're in a lot more pain than you know that you've overdone it, so give yourself sort of two, three days off maybe, let the pain settle and then go back to the exercises again. And remember, try and keep those pain limits between a zero and a four out of 10. Okay, so if your shoulder pain isn't getting better by purely doing these exercises, then obviously get in contact with us. We'll be able to assess it properly, give you the right type of exercises for the time of that condition. My top tip for someone with a frozen shoulder would be to be patient with it. It is a very, very painful condition. You just need to give it time. The initial stages are very, very painful and you'll get a lot of stiffness in your shoulder, but gradually over time that pain will reduce, your range of movement will increase, and you'll be able to get back to some of those activities that you love doing. <laughs>